are watching Emmy Award-winning coverage on two sports, exclusively on Service Electric Cable TV. Big race, the riders love the Kieran. Jim, that's right. Tonight is the night that every cycling fan waits for here at the Valley Preferred Cycling Center. It's finally time for the Kieran Cup. Now, the word Kieran actually means battle or war in Japanese, and that's kind of what we're going to see here tonight. This race is very important for these riders. You're going to see the riders, when they start the race, they're going to be paced by a motorcycle for the first three laps. You're going to see them jockeying for position behind that motorcycle. You're going to see headbutts, and you're going to see shoulders being rubbed, and you're going to see uh, elbows kind of going back and forth. It's a very violent race. Now, the reason they do that is because they need the perfect position behind that motorcycle, because in the last two laps, the motorcycle will peel off of the track, and it's a full-on sprint to the finish. And I can tell you, if you don't have that perfect spot behind the motorcycle when it comes off the track, you are not going to win this prestigious event. So there you have it. And back for this race, the format is great. Kamil Kaczynski from Poland is back, obviously wants to defend his title. Kamil Kaczynski from Poland, he won this event last year. We have our winner from two years ago, Roberto Chiapa, a guy that when he trains on our velodrome, he actually puts weights on the back of his wheel to make it a little bit tougher. And then we have our local favorite, Andy Lakatosh, who's been out of the sport now for a little while, but I can tell you, he is back. On Tuesday night, he participated in an event very similar to this. He did very well, and I can tell you, he's back tonight to show everybody that he's on top of the Kieran. So there you have it. We'll get the helmets on the riders. You get your snacks ready to go. Two sports from the Valley Preferred Cycling Center. Tonight, one of the big races on tap. You see some of our riders all loosening up before tonight. And this is a race for the future stars. It is a five lap scratch race. And Kieran, Jason, you talked about it before. The motorcycle is going to be getting these things going for the youngsters. That's right. Here's a, like a miniature little uh, Kieran rider for our future stars of the velodrome. Pretty cool event here for the kids, having the chance to jump into this. Bike shop Bob there on the motorcycle, leading the kids out. We have two riders in here that are uh, related to some of our former stars at the velodrome. Of course, Tyler Notstein there is Marty Notstein's son, and Greg Ratzel is Tommy Ratzel's son. Some guys that have been riding out here at the velodrome for a long, long time. We'll see how they do. A lot of these kids just uh, finished up their national championships, their junior national championships, a couple weeks ago here at our velodrome. And now they get to show off a little bit here on a Friday night behind the motorcycle. And here they come, and the motorcycle will be in there. Jason, for what, three laps, I believe? Or is it two maybe with these guys? Uh, the, I believe uh, the motorcycle is going to come off with two laps to go, just like we did with the professional riders. Coming up, as you hear there, three laps to go. Now, the rule here in the Kieran is you're not allowed to pass the motorcycle, but you'll see riders behind kind of jockey for position a little bit, and that is very important, the position 
uh, that you have when the motorcycle comes off of the track is very important. You do not want to be first because if you are, it means all that wind is now hitting you in the face and you're working about 30% harder than everybody else. So the perfect place to be is either second wheel or third wheel. That's the place to to get your bike and your body. And you'll see riders kind of throw elbows every so often. Hopefully the kids aren't going to do that tonight, but sometimes that happens in the, the professional Kieran. And there you see ready to jockey and come out when that motorcycle goes off there, our lead rider. And here they go. And this time the cycle will leave. And you see there everybody kind of picking up the pace now as the motorcycle picks goes off the track down the back side. There you go. So the kids have one and a half laps to go. The motorcycles come off now with one and a half laps to go. So when they come around this time, they're going to get the bell. And that is Ratzel at the front there, kind of keeping an eye on everybody behind him. He wanted to ride this thing from the front. There they go, they're heading into turn two. Greg Ratzel did very well in one of the longer events at Junior Nationals, either a, a longer scratch race or a points race. And he's leading this out too, so he's a very good sprinter. And he's going to be taken at the last second by a one rider over the top. Right there's your winner. And looks like uh, Kaylin Farley is going to win that with Greg Ratzel second. Ratzel held on the lead most of uh, all of those five laps, but could not hold off Farley. And they go through. And before these youngsters hit the track, we had a couple heats to get into the Kieran Cup. And here's our first one. And winning that one, it was Gideon Massey down the stretch. And here's heat number two. This one is going to be Camille Kaczynski down, and he is going to take it. There is heat three coming across. Was Andy Lakatosh made a good run. And our fourth heat to qualify, and two riders to qualify. There they go. That was David Espinosa, I believe. And that one, I believe that's Andy Lakatosh, or the women, pardon me. That was the, that's the women's the women. heat. It was our Dutch rider, Yvonne uh, Heljan and Wiley Canis. And here comes the second. This one way behind was Wiley Canis. Case was behind the whole time and really ramped it up in the, the th turn three and four. And here was our last rider. I believe this was Colleen, it was Colleen Habeck actually grabbed that last one, did a great job. So we had uh, some qualifying heats. There you see all the winners. We'll go over them. There will be one more repetrage, so some riders will get into uh, that feature piece now. But we move on to a pro men here. This is a five uh, meter, five kilometer scratch race. Now this is the simplest form of racing out here. It's going to be 15 laps, and it's very simply, the first guy across the line is going to win. So we have a rider going off the front here that does not want to take any chances and have a sprint at the end, so he's breaking away. That's one of the New Zealand riders. So Archibald does take that lead with 15 laps to go. He's going to try and stretch it as he goes around. Someone trying to join him in turn four. We'll catch that number as they bop around. That's rider number three. Shane Klein. So Klein breaks away with Archibald, and another rider tries to join those two riders. We have an announcement for a preem there. Well, you'll see these two riders, they will work together. They're going to be best friends right now. Each rider will take about a half a lap hole. Shane Klein's going to go up the track there and then come right down on Archibald's wheel. Now we have three riders that are together. Now if these guys work together, they have a better chance of staying away from the field. And here they come, and somebody's coming on a big time now in fourth spot. So four riders have broken away from the field. And Archibald's going to nab $25 preem there. Sometimes the preems, they kind of break up uh, the breakaway a little bit. Riders, if they're in a breakaway, they want to they want to work together. And sometimes the preems kind of mess that up. Riders will sprint for the preems and uh, kind of forget about the collective effort of working together to stay away from the field. Now, do you think Archibald can maintain this pace? He has really jumped out ahead of the pack now. He, he uh, <laughs> well, he's our former rider of the year last year, so uh, his, he's got his legs, there's no doubt about it. Um, last week was his first week racing here, and he was fresh off the plane, so he didn't do, I don't, I don't think as well.